I have an old Ideal Center Lenovo K330B. It's down over here. I'm going to try to install Windows 11. And then, uh, if I can, uh, activate it using the Windows 7 product key that's somewhere around here. I think it's down over there in the bottom. So that's my plan. The video consists of two parts. One is, can I install Windows 11? Number two is, can I get it activated for free? Uh, since it already has Windows 7 activation, um, or the, what do we call it, license. Hopefully I can do both, okay? So, I'm gonna give it a try. Creating a installation flash drive is pretty easy. Here, I've already done it, but you can Google it. Windows has an official site for it. So I got plugged in, I'm ready to boot it up and install. And of course, this is a desktop from 2011. So it definitely won't be support for Windows 11. Tom's Hardware has an article on how to do a registry bypass if you install a fresh uh, version of Windows 11. So I'm going to be following that uh, tutorial. You won't see me do those steps, but... Got the keyboard over here. Mouse over here, and it's loading up. Maybe press F12. And I'll try booting it through the... USB disk. I already have a hard drive installed in there. So I won't show this part. It's pretty boring. It's just doing registry changes. Or maybe I will. I don't know. Um, so that's pretty easy. I just press F12 to get in. Come on here. A shift in F10, shift in F10, loads this, and I can do reg edit. So from here, I go to I think local machine something something. So I went to system and then setup. Now that I'm here, I need to create some stuff. Let's do it. New key. It's supposed to be called lab config. It's pretty easy. I'm writing it over here. I think it's zip, press enter, then go into select lab config over there, and I need to enter two new D words, 32 bit. One is need that, press enter, double click with mouse, and I change it to value one. Click OK, and I also need one more. D word 32 value and it's called bypass secure boot check. So I'm gonna press enter on my keyboard. Turn just to one, press enter, and that's it. I'm good to go. Close, close, and I can go about installing Windows 11. Gotta wait. Expects a key. I think I could probably put in the existing key right now, but uh, I'm just gonna go with not having a product key and entering the key afterwards. So, and then I'll do, let me see. So the product key was a Windows 7 Home Premium, so I'm just gonna use Windows 11 Home next accept custom mm. 
just going to do that. Keep whatever's inside there. I should format everything, delete all the partitions, but I'm going to leave it like it is. Hopefully it installs fine. Okay, that's fine. There you go. I'll let it install, do its thing, and I'll come back once it's all done installed. And we'll see if it boots up okay. This is a 2011 Ideal Center Lenovo desktop. It originally had Windows 7 installed into it, Home Premium, and I'm going to try to upgrade it, or actually just install Windows 11. And hopefully I'm able to activate it using the existing uh, Windows product key. Doing it because I'm curious if this is actually being enforced. This was written recently, like last week or two weeks ago. It's saying that you can't now use the Windows 7 product key to uh, install Windows 11. So uh, besides just seeing if I can install Windows 11 onto a 12 year old PC, I just want to see if I can get it activated using the original Windows 7 product key. So there's two reasons. I saw this article and wanted to see if it's true. It's still installing, but it's gotten this far where it's finished copying the files. So not much going on, but it rebooted and you can see it's doing something like that. It's starting services, so looking good so far. I think it's almost ready. Like 10 15 minutes passed, and now it's finally rebooting one more time. Let's hope we see some Windows 11 magic. Or at least see the Windows 11 setup screen. It's still thinking. This is running on an old uh, 12 year old spinning hard drive so you can see uh, maybe the hard drive's going bad it's still going it installed you can see we're going to get to the set setup screen Yes, this is United States. I hope they don't ask me to uh, do the whole internet thing. Or I just want to install it locally. I hate it when it comes to this point. It's like, I don't have an internet connection. So this step, I have to run uh, some registry thing using Shift F10 again. Uh, not registry, but I need to get into the command prompt. So this isn't exactly necessary. I just hate creating a Microsoft account. So instead, I'm going to do Shift F10. And I need to write in a command so that it won't be requesting uh, a Microsoft. It uh, won't be requesting internet for me. And I can skip the Microsoft account setup. So I type this OVO slash no pass NRO, press enter. Okay, that's wrong. I was supposed to put bypass NRO. And it does this and it's gonna restart. And now I can do it. If it's if it was connected to the internet, I have to do IP config slash release to release the IP information, but I just need, it just needs to reboot now. Okay, on to the next step, which is I will be able to create my own local account on Windows 11. Should be a step over here. Now I can say I don't have internet. I don't know why Microsoft would be so lame as to force me not to have this step, but I'm gonna click on it. And then still they want me to use internet. I don't want to. And then gotta put in this information. Let me go through the setup and get to the main screen. 
Next, next. Setting up windows takes forever. And right, I'm over here. Still getting things ready. Let's pause and take a break. Or maybe it's going to open right now. My mouse doesn't move. Oh, might take a few minutes. Yay. It's installed. You can see Windows 11 is here. Something wrong with my screen right now. I don't know how to fix it, but that's besides the point. Let me open one of these desktop thingies. It's really slow on this 12 year old hard drive. I go to right click properties. As I mentioned, it's an Ideal Center K330B. There's the device. And you can see I scrolled down a little bit on settings about. Windows 11 is installed. It's running fine so far. Pretty sure when I click on product and key and activation, you can see it needs to connect to the internet. Let me go connect it to the internet right now. Plug it in here. Internet's connected. See the internet's connecting over here. Has internet. Still no activation state. Let me go back one. Go back here. So installed Windows 11. I can't get it to activate yet. Let's go open this. Start without seeing data. No, you don't need to. We don't need this. Let's go to a very popular site called Yahoo. Bing takes me to Yahoo. Internet's working. I'm going to try going to settings again. So I'm getting this error message. We can't reach your activation servers right now. Make sure you're connected. To the I'm connected to the internet. You saw it. Um, might need to change your product key again. I have one down, down there with the Windows 7. So having some trouble activating, but at least the first step is it's running Windows 7. I can in surf the internet. Let me go restart the computer. So at least step one worked. I was able to install Windows 11 and use it perfectly fine. Go restart. Remove this baby. It's not too bad. Rebooted machine, go, went into settings and about. Let's see what the product key activation is at right now. It's currently updating and I'm getting this error, not active. I'll try troubleshooting. So the next step is entering the product key that I have available. Which I'm gonna do soon. Let me go do that. It's it was on the side of my computer. I'm gonna go enter that in right now. Put in the key. Let's see, click next. It probably won't work. Like I said mentioned before, they supposedly stop allowing entering the product key. And it's asking me if I want to activate. Go ahead and click activate right now. Again, they mentioned it's been disabled, this process. I'm put, I put in a Windows 7 Home Premium key and it's Windows 11 Home right now. 
just last week or the week before that an article was written that said this has been deactivated. And you can see it's taking a while, so it probably isn't going to work. Just my luck, I should have done it two weeks ago. Or like, this was supposedly... See, it won't activate it. I did this on the Inspiron uh, 620 last month, and it worked perfectly fine, but you can see it's not letting me do it. A little sad. Um, I don't know. I thought I installed Windows 10 on here, but I'm probably wrong. It doesn't matter. Just, uh, that's my sad story. Over and out. They did shut it down. This is a Lenovo K330B Ideal Center desktop, I think. And it had Windows 7 Home Premium installed into it. And I was trying to use that uh, product key to activate Windows 11, but I'm getting this error message. Uh, I went into the system activation for settings and tried changing the product key and then activating it, but I'm getting this error message now. So they officially did disable this. Uh, literally two weeks ago, you could uh, install Windows 11 with a Windows 7 product key, but not anymore. It's okay. My heart isn't broken. I'm still going to run Windows 11.